So what we're going to do now is we're going to create some figure prefixes. And figure prefixes will allow us to create line work from survey data. We will need to tell Civil 3D what the figure prefixes correspond to. For example, we may have surveyed a curve. We may have several XYZ coordinates for the top of a curve, and we may have named it TC1, TC2, TC3, TC4, etc. for top of curve, and, and the numbers correspond to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, etc. And we want Civil 3D to connect these points to create a curve. So how can we tell Civil 3D to do this? So what we're going to do is create some figure prefixes. So I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a row to the database. So over here I'm just going to click on this plus sign. So this plus sign over here, I'm just going to click on this thing. And we see a row that appears here. And we can give our figure prefix a name, and maybe I'm going to name it TC. And when I name it TC, it's gonna, what it's going to do is it's going to collect all the points together that have the letters TC in it. And, because, and the reason why it's going to do that is because I didn't specify a 1, a 2, or a 3 after it. So it's going to treat this as kind of like a wild card. So anything with the letters TC in it, it's going to group up together. And it's going to connect it together here. So where it says break line, I want this to be a break line because I'm saying that it's a curve. So I want to control the triangulation, the Delaunay triangulation. I want it to respect that edge. It's not a lot line. And optionally, I can place this on a layer. So I have to, all I have to do is just click here or click this drop down and put it on a layer. Um, style. I can choose a style for this, so if I click this drop down, I have several pre made styles here. So I have tree lines, I have standard, road, center line, fence, curb, and I'm saying that this is a curb. And then site, right now, I didn't give it anything special, so I'm just going to leave it as survey site. And then I can click OK. Optionally, I can just add another row in here, and right now I'm not going to add another row. I'm just going to leave it as, as this for the purposes of this demonstration. Our particular survey file that we're going to use doesn't actually have any surveyed lines in it, but I did want to show you this in case you do work with a survey file that does have survey lines in it. So right now what it's going to do is it's going to pick up anything in our survey file that has TC in it. So let's take a look at our survey file really quickly. And right now my survey file in the description over here, there is no TCs here because these are all points, not really lines connecting to anything. But if I did have something here that said TC1 or TC2, it would group all of those together, and it would try to connect those together as a line, and it would make it a curve type style. So right now I only have one figure prefix created called TC. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And because I don't have any actual TC descriptions in here or codes, it's not actually going to connect any lines or connect any points to make a line because nothing exists. So it doesn't really matter if I create one or not since I don't have any lines here and I don't have any codes that have TC in it.